Hello, I'm Tom Moore from the Bar Tips Lab, and in this particular video, I'm going to show you some William Fairburn techniques to get in and out of ranges. One of the most important things I think people fail to recognize is what techniques to chain together to move to an agreed distance, to a distance where I want to be. So what can I put together in order for me to get from here to here? Or what do I need to put together to get from here to here? Sometimes it is strategically viable for me to go, if I'm too close here and basically the fight is too tough for me, maybe I need to break away so I can get a leveler, I can get a stick, a chair, I can draw a pistol, I can do something, I can arm myself or I can exit. By the same token, I might quickly realise that I'm outranged, outsized, you know, I need to get close to finish the deal. So how can I get from a position which is extended to a position of extreme close quarters battle? So I'm gonna show you a couple of different chain techniques, uh, which I like to get into range and then some to get out of range. Whether your objective is to come in and destroy or to escape, arm or exit, hopefully these give you something to play with. They're not a be all or end all, but there's something to think about. But I would say, when you're putting your combinations together, don't just think of them in a boxing sense. One, two, three. Don't just think of things that are effective because they flow. Think about things that are effective because they move you to or away from what you want to do. Okay, so the first of these combinations, we're going to assume that we're further away from the opponent than we might like. So we're again, we're, we're, we're just outside of arm's reach. So we want to get to a position, in this instance, where we're very, very close. So what I'm going to chain together. So we're going to practice this from the off side. So we're assuming that the opponent is to our side. The first blow I'm going to throw is an edge of hand blow, okay? So I'm going to use the hard bit here. I'm going to pull it with torque as if I'm pulling a chainsaw. So from the side, I've clocked the opponent, and I'm going to drive that edge of hand blow in here. I'm going to drive that straight into the center of poor Bob's track here. here. And again, if they get a bit closer than you'd want, you can still hit them with a the forearm. Boom, we're gonna hit here. So we're gonna go from the side, here, and we're gonna incline our body into that person. As I mentioned, we're just, just out of hand's reach here. So when I do fire this, I bend my lead knee into the opponent. So I've taken some ground already. I've hit and I've advanced ground. Boom, okay? So I've used the bending of my front knee. So this is my left knee. Boom. So I've got incrementally closer. Okay, then we're going to follow that up with a chin jab. So as soon as I've hit here, I'm going to take another step forward. I'm going to achieve a grip on their belt or on their clothes, and I'm going to drive a chin jab sharply up under their jaw. So I'm going to slam this into their chest, and I'm going to drive all of my power up, knocking his head backwards. So I want that terminal velocity here. Okay, so I'm going to get in close, I'm going to grab, I'm going to sink my body weight, and I'm going to smash this straight up, I'm gonna drive all of my body weight up from here, okay? Don't think of the claw yet. You've hit with the palm under the jaw. If the claw hits, brilliant. If not, don't worry about it. The main point of this is the percussive impact under the chin. And then finally, we're gonna finish with a knee. So as soon as we've got here, we've got that, then we're gonna drive the knee. Now I'm aware that you can simultaneously chin jab the knee, which is great. But in this purposes, we're gonna smash here, and then we're gonna keep our fingers around that face. We're gonna be mauling here. We're gonna be grabbing and mauling. We're gonna drive that knee into the groin. It's harder on the bob to give you a decent angle, but as I'm here, I'm just gonna drive that knee straight into the groin. The targeting will be a bit off because I'm showing you to camera. So going from long range to short range, we're gonna whip our edge of hand. We're gonna close and chin grab, uh, chin jab. Then finally, we're gonna maintain our grip on the face here, maintain our grip on the clothing, we're gonna drive this knee into the groin, okay? And we're gonna remain there, because our objective in this instance is to get and close. So, pull with torque, whip the body into the track here, and bend the knee in that direction. Boom. Step in again, smash, final knee. Let's go from there. So make sure you get eyes on the target. And again, we're keeping close to that opponent. As soon as that hits, I'm staying this close. We start again. I'm staying on that opponent and keeping the fingers like fingers in a bowling ball in the nasty crevices of his face. I'm driving here, I'm keeping my head 
close to his body because this is relatively safe for me. And because my body weight is a little bit lower, I've done that chin, chin jab. I'm here, I can grapple. I'm out the way of any striking blows from his arms. I can maintain underhooks, I can knee, I can hit, I can headbutt, I can do everything because I've sunk my body weight. So, <coughs> and we're here, and then we're ready to do other things if we need to, elbows, hammer fists, whatever you want. So, extreme long range to close range. Next one we're gonna do. So, we're gonna start off, again, we're just outside the hand's reach. We're gonna start off with a tiger claw. So we're just gonna rake this hand straight in. And remember, it's not just the strike, it's the manipulation as you strike. As soon as it's in, it grips and it wriggles. <laughs> you know, it grinds in there, okay? Soon as I've got my tiger claw in, I'm then gonna move into a finger jab. So I'm gonna drive my fingers, my spear-like hand, straight into the trachea, boom. But I'm gonna use this as my guideline. This is my runway. So as soon as I've got that, I smash this in, okay? So I tie the claw from here and I grab and manipulate. I step in and I drive this into the throat, bang. And then finally, I get single chancery. So I grab by the back of the head, keeping the elbow close, and I drive that elbow straight into the jaw. So tiger claw, into finger jab, into elbow, okay? Making sure that you keep a decent grip with the tiger claw and lean forward with it, because we're just out of range, so I bend the first knee forward. I put my mass into that tiger claw. I don't just use my hand, I bend my knee, I drop step it, okay? I really take control of that face. I want that face. I'm not just gonna pour for it, like a cat that's trying to wake you up. I'm really gonna grab that face, okay? So, taking it up. Okay, so we've got to a range where we're happy. Again, again, I've crashed this a little bit more. So I've got the elbow into the jaw, under the throat. I've got this bolt dummy set at about six, five, so it's a bit taller than me. I like to take it a little bit higher if I can. Extend that tiger claw, really smash that into that face. It's percussive, but it sticks, it stays there. Tiger claw, then as this comes forward, I lean, step forward, drive that into the throat, I draw back a little, and finally smash. So again, I'm here. I've got here, and at that point, I might wanna do a palm smash here. So I put up the range again, it's completely up to me. But at that instance, I wanted to go from longer to shorter range. Okay, now we're gonna go from extreme close range to short range. So we're assuming at this juncture now, I'm too close to this opponent, I don't want to be here. So we're here. So first thing I'm gonna do, I wanna make sure my hands are in play around the maxillofacial area, here, okay? I don't want my hands out here or here. If I'm close, I want my hands in the game, or I want my hands here. So I'm either by the face, or I'm in a decent underhook or grappling position, a position of dominance. I don't wanna be kind of up here. I want the hands in the face or hands around the body. In this instance, we're closed, we're too close, the hands are around the face. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take hold of the shoulders and we're gonna drive that knee into the groin, okay? So we're gonna drive the knee into the groin. Then with the left hand, we're gonna punch to the throat using a vertical fist, slightly supinated like so. So we're gonna get our knuckles into that slot, just into the throat. So we're here, we're gonna knee, and we're gonna punch as we step back. So we're gonna use that punch as I leave it to step back, and then I'm gonna swap legs. So my left leg and my left arm are forward now. I'm gonna bring those back as I do an exiting tiger claw. So again, this is just an extra surety as I do a passing step outwards. So here, one, two, three. The switching of the footwork might mean that I can access a weapon, I can cut a different angle, gives me opportunities. So don't just practice moving forwards and backwards like a boxer, but get used to stepping. They're important too. So here. Fire straight off. That again. Do it up too close. Drive that knee in, punch, change our footwork into the tiger claw. 
And we're ready. Okay, last one of these. We're gonna go chin smash, chin jab, edge of hand blow. Okay, so the chin jab comes up really sharply, really close range. The chin smash comes around the side, like so, like a short, tight hook. Okay, so we're here, we're closer than we like. We're gonna chin smash. Great thing about a chin smash is it turns the attention elsewhere, it turns the head, okay? So the palm strikes in and I grab a good lump of face here. Then I drive in with the chin jab. In this instance, I'm doing a non-attached chin jab because I'm close and I want to get out. So I'm not gonna attach myself here. I'm gonna do this, I'm still gonna be close range, but I'm not gonna do the attachment. So up close, jump my chin smash. I've smashed it around the side using the hard bit of the palm. I've grabbed a lump of face. I've dropped my body weight somewhat and I've blasted this chin jab up. And as I step back, I'm gonna finish with a longer range edge of hand blow, preparing myself for what may come. So, up close, and I turn the body like a boxer's hook. And I keep control of that face. Two, three, okay. So up here, we're ready. From here, if you're too close, we're gonna chin smash, we're gonna grab a bit of face, we're gonna chin jab right under the jaw, concussive impact. And while that head's lifted, we're gonna step up, we're gonna find the edge of hand blow, whoa, straight into the throat, into the track here. We'll do that again. And again. So, some things to play with, going from short range to long range, long range to short range, what techniques, what hand techniques flow best? How does the chin jab relate to the smash, relate to the tiger claw, relate to the edge of hand, to the knee, to grapples, whatever you want to do. So, just to reiterate, from long range, we've had edge of hand, chin jab, knee. So, edge of hand, chin jab, knee. We've had tiger claw, so again, leaning into it, tiger claw, spear hand to the throat, elbow, one, two, three. Then we've had knee, throat punch, passing step, tiger claw, so one, two, three. And then finally, we've had chin smash, and stepping off. Those are some things to practice with. Hope you have fun with them. Cheers.